nice signs like made in a fucking printing fucking uh store yeah so. i'm gonna show you the video i'm gonna show you the video the first time he hopped on the scene because i remember this i remember this like it was yesterday because i was following this shit oh um, oh by the way these people that that go out and do these protests and stuff like that there's usually they're hoping to get arrested because then there's some lawyer behind the the mm -hmm. other lawyer that's in the mainstream there's like a trust account that's set up and these people get paid they actually do get paid I, it's not it's not a myth i've seen the checks it's not a myth it's yeah. for real mm -hmm. i'm asking everybody how to go home and to clear the streets uh, and tomorrow everybody's going to meet at the church so that we can figure out so that we don't lose focus on what it is that we're supposed to be doing. Has this surprised you today? It None is, of us heard about it. It's disappointing. Uh, we're just hours out of the funeral. Uh, the family is just hours after putting their son to rest uh, to come just a few blocks away from where we had the services. Uh, disappointing. Uh, and I'm hoping to bring some calm and to bring our young people back into focus as to what we're really marching what for. What do you say to do that, uh, Pastor? What do you say to bring them uh, bring calm? It is one, this is not what the family asked for. Today of all days, uh, the family was very clear that this was a day of sacred closure uh, in the funeral. So for us to come out of the burial and walk into this is absolutely inexcusable. I'm asking every young person to go back home Tomorrow night, we'll have a community meeting uh, for us to really <laughs> recalibrate uh, because peace is the call and the order of the day. He on performance right now. Look at him. He, he got the Reverend drawl shit. and everything. He took this you shit. see his handlers right there behind him. He ran with this shit. He took this one interview and ran. This was only seven years ago. Think about it like this. When you think of Jamal Bryant, you, it feels like he's been around forever, right? This was seven years ago. This is the first time he ever appeared in our consciousness. Frustration and anger, or do you think it's much more than that? It's frustration, anger, and it's disrespect to the family. The family was very clear. We've been saying it all along. Today, there is absolutely no protest, no demonstration that we go back into the street on tomorrow. Uh, Pastor, what are you hearing? That we're hearing it's not just in this area. No, but, it's but North Avenue. No, is we've got it. Downtown. We have what a team of men from the church going to North Avenue now to pull back those young people who are absolutely uh, out of call, out of control, <laughs> so that we can bring some order. Team. This is he a is peaceful in character. movement, and we can plan on maintaining that There's order. A discussion about them moving toward downtown again. Yes, we have a line of a gentleman from the Nation of Islam who are going to build a human wall as well as men from uh, the Christian church making that human wall to let the men know that they've got to send where, these children where back. Where is that happening? It's downtown is what I'll so, say. So all, all across downtown. And from they? North Avenue to downtown, those hot spots, we're pulling everybody back so that we can have calm and order. Violence is not the answer for justice. Pastor, you said this is a peaceful protest, but we've seen people, demonstrators, agitators, however yes. you want to refer yes. to them, throw rocks, uh, bricks. No, today what shit. has happened this afternoon is not Bro, that peaceful, blue looks and it does not reflect the spirit and the heart of this movement this is a movement of peace we're calling for justice not for vengeance and not for violence uh, this does not represent the gray family nor does it represent the last seven days of Listen peaceful protests and so we're asking all of those who are participating to go back home tomorrow we start afresh and anew and stay focused on justice for this family and justice for baltimore have you spoken to the mayor? i have not spoken to the mayor uh, and, and well, and where do you go from here? You're, you're so you're getting your look at this guy. Look at them sitting on this person's car. This person just drove through the intersection, they all just jumped on this car. My focus I'm, is I'm not flooring the it. My focus is not the police commissioner, yeah. but my focus is these black children on the streets. I don't want them arrested, wounded, or tear gas. I look want what them they're doing, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> at the very least, a belt. Shit. Man, he ain't thought about them motherfuckers. This is his shot. You can see he fighting back the smiles. He's yeah, like, this yeah. is my time. Like, you see yeah. it. He was yeah, listening to a few shit. MLK speeches and got his little accent. Oh, right. man. That's a remix I, of like a thousand black speeches. I still believe he had that wall of people show up. <laughs> Once again tonight, across the country, all eyes are that. focused here in Baltimore. Now with palpable unrest as the city begins its first night of curfew after violent this clashes. This is what they wanted. Even though on the news they were saying we don't want pro we don't want we want everybody to protest. Protest for protest peacefully. 
They're lying. They wanted this. I'm telling you, they wanted this. Please in protest. They're mad they didn't get it. But I promise you this: before the election, before the I'm not even gonna say before the election because that's that's November of uh, November of 2024. Before election, before the primaries, before the Democrat and the Republican candidate is chosen, whatever that is, you're gonna have another case of a black dude in a police officer. That's going to really have riots with it, though. This time it's going to be riots. It's going to be out of control. And it's going to be coast to coast. Because they do this every election year, like clockwork. 2012, mm-hmm. Trayvon. 2016, um, what was it? Michael Brown or Freddie Gray. 2020, uh, George Floyd. 2024, I guarantee you there's going to be an interaction with Sun Man and the cop. And, we know it's going to be one because some men get killed all the time by cops, but it's going to be they're going to choose one. I don't know how they're going to choose it, which one they're going to choose. It's got to be a woman them, this time. One of them, it's going to be no, it has to be a man. It, it got to be a man. Black people don't, for some reason, we don't. It got to be a man for some reason. It got to be like a, it got to be like a grown ass man, too. Like it gotta be like dude gotta be like pushing third like like Tyree 29. Yeah, he gotta be a career criminal though. Somebody gotta be it gotta be a career criminal though. Got to yeah, be. that's why they that's why I think it wasn't no protest with Tyree because it's like he didn't have that yeah, he didn't have enough bullshit behind him. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a career criminal. It, gonna be it gotta be a career dude. criminal who ain't who ain't actually been to jail in maybe about three to six months. He's gonna be like 35 hmm. and up. He's gonna be old. He's gonna be at least at least 35 or older. He's gonna be a career criminal. He's gonna be like a he's gonna be a piece of shit. And it's gonna be something happen and it's gonna go and it's gonna take the nation by storm. I promise you. He was just turning the corner. In the way you know? of the funeral of Freddie Gray, parent, that 25 year old man who inex- Yeah, I mean it's it's, yeah, it's really coming. Get on mom to come on and cry on TV and say, Oh my baby, they took my baby yeah. away. Tyree was just a body punch. Tyree was like a, a dude hit you in your ribs and, 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 and knocked the wind out of you. You got to keep that hand down now so you can't take another rib shot. And then they're going to come with the jab straight down Main Street on us. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that liver shot. After being Ooh. injured while in police custody last week, we've seen looting and fires, police cars being targeted, and injuries on both sides as residents demand justice and peace. Tonight's citywide curfew did not start quietly. Minutes into it, police helicopters flew low over protesters, urging them all to go home or face arrest. That's when bottles started flying, and soon officers dressed in riot gear fired what police call pepper balls to disperse the crowd. Let me drop you down, Marcy. Um, I got brown sugar in the back, man. Marcy ain't saying shit anymore. Oh. Oh. Relative tranquility amidst palpable tension. Nearly 2,000 National Guard troops are here and lining the streets in what is still a state of emergency. Tensions are still simmering as we witness firsthand. <laughs> One moment of peaceful demonstration, sweet sounds of amazing grace. <laughs> when without warning, Stay back! Stay back! a scream, a push, confusion. Police in riot gear using pepper spray. Something that happened to cause the crowd to react and start throwing debris and signs of police. What happened? Turns out authorities say they were attempting to break up what they thought was a fight. A show of force spectators mistook as aggression. It looks like a, a fight broke out in the crowd. Interesting enough, the police aren't getting involved. It's community people who are breaking. This guy would never be around this crowd in a million years if he wasn't with the police in the camera crew. He's yeah, never. <laughs> All day and into this evening, we've watched adults, many of them parents, taking a stand, taking back their neighborhood. What the hell? <laughs> Don't come up here. Girl, you can't come up here. That's her baby daddy. Alma Chandra, mother of two, a registered nurse at Johns Hopkins Hospital. This has been a long time brewing. When you have things that, when you have an overreaction, it is an old 
reaction. She took the day off from work to walk the streets, comforting where she could, confronting when she had to. The father me has to be her. He's not here. The, no, the father me says to you. <laughs> he said your father. He said the father, father, her kid's father ain't there. My dad would be He's mad. asking her to <laughs> But I can be hurt. If, I, if my kids get hurt, if this kid, that, I'm some, that's somebody's child. A lioness is the one that does the hurt. But there was no mistaking the lawlessness in looting. Young people wildly clashing with police. Very few arrested. Destroying what few major businesses this community has long clamored for. Watch that guy in the gas mask as he sliced the water hose firefighters were using to save the neighborhood. The CBS, the yeah. National Drug Store, so all here a part of an opening in this depressed neighborhood, ravaged by fire and looting. This newly built senior citizen's high rocks, a $16 million investment, gone. They built, they burned down the senior citizen's home. People I didn't, I didn't know that. That hose he just I never knew probably five grand. Animals. Yeah, over, over, and, and, and listen, this is what they wanted with Tyree. They just... Didn't know that black people, a skater who listens to rock, we ain't, uh, we need us, but, we need us a, a son, son, man. I, I told you, I told you niggas really don't be caring like that. Mm -mm. Yeah, we need, we need us a real somebody we can identify with. Aaron but I've been told you don't care like Senior that. Citizens High Rocks, a $16 million investment, gone. By sunrise, 15 police officers injured. One unresponsive rushed to the hospital in an armored car. When the worst was over, more than 250 people arrested, including 39 juveniles. Like the smell of burning buildings, a stench of sadness and disgust fell over Baltimore. It whipped its way to the White House, 40 minutes south. If our society really wanted to solve the problem, uh, we could. It's just it would require everybody saying this is important, this is significant. It took a small army of local preachers and activists to help restore some semblance of calm. Together we united! And one defiant mother to make clear to her 16-year-old son, not here, not now. She dragged yeah, him home and she caught a glimpse yeah. of him on TV <laughs> causing trouble. That's something I do right there. You'll beat your son like that in public? She embarrassed that boy. I don't I give a damn. What you out there marching all that boy for? Yeah, he deserved it. He, deserved it. he, deserved it. he, he ain't marched for the little girl that got shot. Hell, what you out there march for dude for? And he probably he, he probably that's that the that's the type of shit I'm talking about. This dude could have been right there with that little, like she said, little girl got shot. And won't say a word of who he and, knew and, and or and then he like really that. actually he put his life in so much danger because I mean he can get caught in a crossfire, they could hit him with a bottle, anything could happen to her child out there. Then, but she beat folks. the brakes off this boy though. The best she part out of all this. Boy, she she curb stomped him. And remember, she went on the tour. She was on the view. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she, yeah, she was on an ass whooping tour. Yeah, she's big. Yeah. She so I wonder if the same she would later say, say she is not raising her. I wonder what this you you're very low, AP. We can't even we can't even really hear you though. Her son to be a thug or the next Freddie Gray, the man whose death sparked this latest round of rage and destruction. And it wasn't just concerned parents. Shockingly, even rival gangs set aside differences for the moment, now working together. Now you guys don't normally hang out together, right? No, no. So why, why, why are you guys together now? Because it, it, it's a bigger cause than just our colors. It's, uh, the cause in the street is bigger See, than... Like, why people like something stupid shit like this up? Exactly. These are, fucking, these are this is this is the, yeah look the gangs but Ak, I wonder if people would have applauded a father if he went out and found his daughter on the streets out there and beat her down in the street. See, well, I think uh, even though I, I no, they wouldn't have crucified. Exactly. So why yeah. is it okay for a woman to go out there and a, even though he was out in the street like that to embarrass her son and beat yeah, him down like that? Because if she was being a mother to him, you, yeah. I because mean, if she was being a mother to him. Hold on, wait. Let me finish. If she was being a mother to him, she wouldn't. She wouldn't first of all embarrass him like that, 
And second of all, he wouldn't have been out there in the first place. So all this beating down and acting like you're so concerned, this and that, it, that's for show. And for people to applaud her for doing that and embarrassing him like that, that's disgusting. I halfway agree with you. Have to have fuck him. I have to be the disgusting one. Because if it had been a girl and she was out there, she still would have whooped her ass too. No, I'm saying if a father had did that to a girl. Yeah, right. I, I know what you're saying. I know right. what you're saying. Right. So it's Go okay ahead, bro, to sure. emasculate men and make them look stupid on TV. But when women are doing stupid stuff, we can't do the same to them. Come on, folks. No, I was just no. I was just gonna say since society always put and blame everything on single black women, I thought you know seeing this single black mother whoop her son ass because he doing some pookie and ray ray stuff. I think it's a good look. No, it's not a good look because is she beating his ass all the time or is this is just one time she felt embarrassed? Because let's keep it a buck. If he was disciplined all the time. He wouldn't have been out there in the first place. I don't know. This is this type of stuff of bringing everybody out. Even the good kids are coming out. Now tell me this. Hold on. Tell me this. He right. Do you yes, think, absolutely. Brian Sugar, are you saying, uh, and, and I, I won't have to mute people. Please just take this, just breathe, y'all. Brian Sugar, are you saying that beating this boy like this in front of these people is, you, you, like she, they couldn't show you the whole thing. She hit him like a hundred times. It, it. I, I just think I, personally, I think. That and that, if he had punched her in the face for hitting him, in which I wouldn't have um, minded him doing that, then everybody would have been on him. But still, he is still a young man, right? And that's something that is wrong. She emasculated him. Right, emasculating him in front of all his friends. And of course, he is wrong for being out there. But there's a way that you can do things and not have to be a monkey about everything that you do. <laughs> yeah. I, Amen, I mean, sister. Amen. I Amen. mean, I just, if, if the mama was going to beat his ass, the niggas in the hood was or the cops. So it's best that she going to beat his ass now <clears throat> and get him out of the street before the niggas in the hood get him or the cops. I felt like this was she self-serving on her part, though. I felt like she did this. She knew the cameras was on her, and she did this like look exactly. at me. Typical I feel like this is a look crap. at me more. I, feel, I feel like it was self-serving after she went on the tour and started going on yeah. these other shows and stuff like that. But I don't know. And it is kind of weird, because how could she it's even true. point this boy out with his mask on and all that good stuff in that big old crowd? Whoa. I don't know, mother. And knows. like I said, for her to be paraded on TV and giving applause and Is all she? the shows, like, oh, she's such a great bomb. She's doing a great thing. Like I said, if a man, where's that boy now? I would love to know where this boy is now. That house got burned down. Yeah, yeah, the house burned down. But I would, I would love to know where he's at. Like he's you know, alive. He had the top. Yeah, he, he was at the funeral. Nah. Yeah, I don't know, but yeah, this is <laughs> not to kill white police. I would tell y'all to stop them from killing us. We're protecting our neighborhood. If Monday the nation saw the worst of this they old lie. American city, today a different face. Volunteers flooding in and cleaning up. 24-year-old Eve Roberts, who grew up in South Baltimore. Uh, I just wanted to see like what we could do to help out. As volunteers saw to She's a future threat to society that night. No, she's gonna be a congresswoman or or a judge or some shit that's going to in you know keep pushing this bullshit. She's a threat. She's just as big of a threat as a goddamn sun team. What was her name again? Grew up in South Baltimore. Uh, I just wanted to see like what we could do to help out. As volunteers sought to restore normalcy, officials focused sharply on restoring order. The immediate need is to restore calm and peace to the city, make people feel safe. The governor activating 1,700 <laughs> National Guard troops who will enforce the city's 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. curfew. A show of force not seen here since the rioting that followed the assassination of Dr. King Think in 19... 19- Think about that. These niggas didn't riot like this for 40 years. In 40, in what is it, 50 years span, they rioted like this twice. Once for Martin Luther King and once for Freddie Gray. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> These niggas are crazy. 1968, 
The spark this time, a neighborhood guy, Freddie Gray. This 25-year-old taken into police custody on Sunday, April 12th. His arrest captured by a bystander's cell phone. Is that boy lag? Look, bro. Gray appearing in pain, screaming, unable to walk as officers drag him into a transport van. Reportedly, when he arrived at the police station a half hour later, he was unable to breathe, talk. Medics rushed him to the hospital. A few days later, he slipped into a coma and then later died from a severe spinal... Look, look, look similar? This kind of like how Tyree looked. Yeah, that's how Tyree looked. The results of the police investigation into Gray's death is expected Friday. A prosecutor will then decide whether to file charges. Do you trust the process? The police part of it? Absolutely not. I mean, Bill Murphy is the Gray family's attorney. I mean, why would anybody rational who understands the history of what the police have done trust their process? The troubles here fit disturbingly into the national narrative. Black men dying after encounters with the police. From Eric Garner in New York City, Michael Brown in Ferguson, most recently Walter Scott in South Carolina. But Baltimore is different. The police department is 48% black. The troubles here exacerbated by economic devastation. The city ranks 10th in the nation for income. In yeah, so nothing has changed, man. I'm telling you they're going to go to this. They're going to go to that. And the New York Post says, send in the moms to tame the Baltimore rioters. It refers to one woman in particular who took matters into her own hands, literally. Toya Graham spotted her 16-year-old son in a crowd of teens vandalizing and looting. Cameras captured the moment that she confronted her son. She yelled at him and struck him multiple times. And video of the moment spread quickly on TV and social media. More than 2 million people viewed her response to the attention on our Facebook page. The hashtag mom of the year began trending on Twitter. And today, Toya Graham, a single mom of six, joins us only on CBS this morning. God Good damn. Morning you. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. My no. morning. So single mom of six. six. So here's the front page of the paper this morning. It says, forget the National Guard. Send in the moms. They're calling you hero mom. Do you feel like a hero mom this morning? I don't. I don't. Because what was your intention? My intention was just to um, get my son and have him be safe. Mm -hmm. And at that point, I knew that was, um, that whole thing was not safe. It so, wasn't safe at all. Let's go back to that morning because you had told him, do not go down to the protest. Yes. Um, he told me the night before that, you know, everybody was going to meet up at Mondawmin Mall. And I said to him, Michael, go to school. Don't go to Mondawmin. But you knew? But... You know, me and my oldest daughter, I had a doctor's appointment, mm -hmm. and we started getting phone calls that they was letting the schools out early. Why is she that still they were shutting like, down. Like, that's too much, man. He's, he's walking yeah, to nah, the nah, car, nah. man. You got to keep yeah. up in his ass, man. Like, for sure. Like, he's walking away. Come on, don't. Well, you know, we could say the same thing about Tyree. He's running away. We had to shoot him. So, I mean, whatever. <laughs> there you go. Get on these niggas. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, I guess. I guess, man. Why not? Nah, you know, you have to leave the doctors off. We have to go. And so to get there and see the mass of police and the helicopters and, um, you know, I actually ran over to the police and I said, you know, where are the children that have to um, take this bus route here? But tell us when you first saw your son, Toya. Take us there. So after speaking with the police officer and he pointed across the street from Mondawmin Mall, um, I stood there on the same side as the police with the shields and they were throwing bricks. And I was like in an awe, like it was, it was like, Oh my God. Mm -hmm. And to see my son come across the street with a rock in his hand, mm -hmm. I think at that point I just lost. Okay, it. I forgive her. She, she, she. Thank, <laughs> you. Thank, you. Thank you. I Thank told y'all. She was She's in her absolved. Right. She absolved. She yeah. absolved. Yeah. Well, like, matter of fact, yeah, matter fact I'm going to absolve her so much that if she just thinks back to that day, right now to this day, and just want to go upside his head, I'm going to applaud it. <laughs> Yeah, because he just he threw the police here. That's that's dangerous. This just also shows that a lot of people in this country never agreed with the children being down there protesting to begin with. Yeah, I well, mean, they set them up to go down there. They they that's what they wanted. They pushed them down there. Half the kids didn't even really know what the fuck was going on. 
They, I'm, they, I'm proud of Memphis, though. We ain't cut up like they thought we did, like we thought we would. So I, I bet you if it would have been a Project Pat type, y'all would have turned up. It would have been one of them yeah, goddamn um, Yo Gotti types or or money bag Yo types. Y'all would have Yo Golf. I don't up. know. Could they get killed all the time in Memphis? We just not, don't not be caring. Not, not by the police. police. Yeah, yeah. We just had this. some get. Yeah, we just had a bunch of them get shot. Like had like five, six of them get shot this year. By the police? By the police. I'm telling oh, y'all, we don't oh, be shit. caring like that. Oh, no, okay. I'm talking about if the if the white liberals decide that this is the case that we run. That, that's what I'm about to say. They they yeah. pick certain ones to put their money behind. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what? They probably like take some names, put them in a hat, pick it out. <laughs> you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the media yeah, can media like that. escalate things, but I don't know. I still don't think Memphis. Oh no, they, they 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 have a track record of picking the shittiest niggas imaginable. Like they just. Yep. They can't even get him just a halfway regular shitty nigga. Like they gotta go to like the depths. Like who does the worst? Yeah, I think they like I said, they they take a list of them, see see if they all the crimes, they add them all up, and then like the worst of the worst, they just throw it in the in the hat and then they just pull it out. Yeah, let, let me oh we got Ray Wall in the back. What's up, Ray Wall? What's happening, man? Uh, oh my god. And to see my son come across the street with a rock in his hand, mm -hmm. I think at that point I just lost it. You recognize the baggy sweatpants? I recognize the baggy sweatpants. He did have the hoodie on and he did have the um, face mask on, but it was something about those sweatpants he had on. And you also made eye contact. And we made eye contact. Mm -hmm. and your Her accent is cute. Is, is, and for me. <laughs> Yeah. is he clearly had uh, respect and fear of you. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, because as you were pushing him and, and doing that sort of right hook you had, uh, <laughs> he was backing off. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. what was he saying to you? Mom, 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 okay, mom, okay, mom. You know, and I was pretty much just telling him, you know, how dare you do this? If he, I actually went to view um, Freddie Gray's funeral, yeah. um, 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 body, and if he wanted to do that, I would allow him to, mm -hmm. you know, even if he wanted to um, stay home from school to go to the funeral, I would allow him to do that. Mm -hmm. But for him to do what he was doing, it was just unacceptable. You, you said, I thought so poignantly, you did not want to lose your son to the streets. No, mm -hmm. and I fight with this, not just because of this incident. I find myself shilling my son on a lot of different incidents where these young kids are out here shooting each other. And um, a lot of his friends have been killed, mm -hmm. you know? And so my thing is, I just want to keep him in the house. Mm -hmm. And I know that's not going to, you know, he's going to get out. He's yeah, going to. That's, that's not really, that's not really going to work. But the way that you were striking him, mm -hmm. you opened up a can of whoop ass. On he just way. ran right that past niggas getting smoked. That you had that yeah, she it, yep, it, it, she it, don't want to talk about straight, it. Straight to go ahead and talk about whooping your kid. Listen, listen. Sad. He, right. She just said a lot of my son's friends have been killed. That would have been, as a reporter, my duty is to say, tell me more. Like, or, or what say, about those kids? Or say, oh my, or say, oh my goodness, that's terrible. Yeah. And that's why I said the whole. She caught herself from saying thing. that's not what we're here to talk about. That's what she was about to say. She had to fix it. She was about to say, that's not what we're here to talk about, though. Then she was like, wait, I mean, but that's, that's you know, she got, she caught herself. Here we go, fuck. And I love that she's a classy mother of six with her tits out in full view first thing in the morning. Right, right. First thing in the morning. The, the first whole, thing in the morning. The she got that sweet thing. The whole thing. The whole hypocrisy of the whole thing. Tough love, you know. And their children that are still out there are getting killed. You know, they don't care. That's why I said this whole thing of her going on this campaign like she's super mom of the year, it's BS. She's just a useful idiot. That's not really her. It's this bitch right here on the screen mm -hmm. that just ran past it. People like her that's pushing the, the fuck shit. Yeah, Dude, she just the yeah. Wood ass. That was cold, like, to not address that statement. I would have said, hold up, did you not hear what I just said? All my son's <laughs> Kids or uh, friends was murdered. Like I would have stopped her on live TV. Yeah, because I mean, wouldn't they say, "Oh, by police"? 
No, 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 no. It wasn't about like they didn't even ask. Was it the police that killed all of her? Like it's just like it just shows the coldness, the cavalier. This shows how they really feel about him. With this, not just because of this incident, I find myself shilling my son on a lot of different incidents where these young kids are out here shooting each other, and um, a lot of his friends have been killed, mm -hmm. you know. And so my thing is, I just want to keep him in the house, and I know that's not going to, you know, he's going to get out. He's yep. going to. That's that's not really the That's not really going to work. But the oh way that you wow! Wait, wait, wait! wait. Uh -huh. You go up back. Now, I told you. Face. Look at the white people's face, though. Watch their eyes. Yep, yeah, right, right after she said it. <laughs> oh, wow. He's yeah, gonna. He's, that's that's not really. These young kids are out here shooting each other. Perfect. And um, a lot of his friends have been killed. Mm -hmm. You know, and so. Dude, head popped up hella quick. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Look, I have a, I have a son. None of his friends have been killed. <laughs> That lady was them. like, "Excuse me, wait, whoa, 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 wait a minute now, <laughs> Gail, you're gonna have to reel this in." She stepped out of the female empowerment agenda. Yeah. She stepped off. She stepped off the script. Yeah, because I mean, like a lot of for a lot of like a lot of them, like that's that's just just the brisk by that when you're supposed to be like caring about young black bodies. And <clears throat> Yeah, and he was just, that clearly was not the first time that you've had that interaction with him, is it? No. Um, like I Tell said, us about him. Um, like I stated before, he has been in trouble before. See, see and, that, that, um, that's too much. He that's knows much. right from wrong. Um, that's he, too much. He, he's just like the other teenagers yes, that doesn't have much. the perfect relationship with the police officers in Boston. So she says he doesn't have the perfect relationship with the police officers in Baltimore. <laughs> this little nigga be getting in the shit, man. Listen, it's, it's... and he looked just like his mama. Yeah. And her having six kids with no father is no help to him either. Oh no, he's seen some things. Yeah, right. All and the men Gil, Gil had to keep her on script. Gil said, Let, "Let's talk know. about Gil him." Gil got, got it. Then she got it at on home. She's like, "Tell he me said, about." Whooping this nigga's ass. Talk about him. him. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about niggas killing niggas now. <laughs> Officers in Baltimore City. Mm. But you will not be throwing rocks and stones at police officers. Mm -hmm. At some point, um, who's to say that girl. they don't have to come and protect me from mm -hmm. something? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and wow, did they you might hear not that? want to. Did you hear what she just said? She's going off script. <laughs> She is fucking up the narrative, man. <laughs> I, I love this woman. In Baltimore City. Mm. But you will not be throwing rocks and stones at police officers. Mm -hmm. At some point, um, who's to say that they don't have to come and protect me from mm -hmm. something? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and they might not want to, knowing that you'll bring it home to them. Mm -hmm. Two wrongs don't make a right. So at the mm -hmm. end of the day, I just wanted to make sure my son, I had got my son home. And we actually could see everything after being home watching the news. And he started seeing the fires and everything that was taking place. And um, did he say he was sorry? No, he didn't say he was sorry. But, you know, he was coming upstairs and he was telling me things that his friends were saying. What are they saying? Uh, you know, Michael, you need to give your mother a hug. Mm -hmm. You know, Mother Day, Mother Day is right around the corner. You need to buy her the best Mother Day gift ever. <laughs> you know, so. does, does he love the attention you're getting? So admiring they wrong they wrong what you're doing and people understand yeah mom you put you you put a, a video of me getting my ass kicked out into the internet forever thanks mom they put right. that i was a, on fire for that boy. That's they recorded up. her i was a big guy my mother was five foot three she would never embarrass me in public like that. The scariest thing in the fucking world was when my mother said my name with a calm tone. And the minute uh, she'd have got me inside the house, I was a dead man. Just wait till we get home, Bill. I, I you know, mm -hmm. I got a, I got a story of what this woman did. She snapped. That's what she did. I'm gonna be honest. She snapped. I seen it. My brothers. They stole my mom's car. They were supposed to be warming the car up before we go to school. These niggas joy riding around the corner. They come, they used to do it all the time. But this particular time, my mom come out. They come pulling up in our apartment gates or whatever. 
Bro, that woman is five. My mom is five. Yeah, she's five one. Bro, she pulled a, a tree branch down and beat the shit out of both them dudes. And these niggas is at least six foot. <laughs> she beat the shit out of both these dudes with a tree branch. She didn't even know she had did that shit. But one of my neighbors, see, thank God we ain't got no, no, we ain't had cameras back then. One of my neighbors saw that shit. Man, my mom was so embarrassed that she beat the shit out of them like that in front of them people. She would have never went on TV like this. She would have been ashamed. She would have never been proud of beating them like that in public. Yeah, that, that was that was a rough ass whooping, man. But man, parent who has to work and take care of children uh, is a difficult life. Well, I think at this point, um, I'm not working at the moment. I just came from losing a job, but just coming into a, a brand new home. And so he sees me struggle. He sees the struggle that I'm going through. But my children, it's just me and my children. I mean, you know, I don't I don't go out. I don't, you know, do any of that thing. Only thing I do is church and it's me and my children and my grandchildren. What did you think when you saw that? Kids no job. That's why I'm coming. And the fuck buy a house with I, six kids and no job. What do you mean? She didn't buy a house. She already told you how she got the house. She got six kids and no job. That equals <laughs> living arrangements. That's the name. Like that. Yeah. Man. She, she lost her job. Yeah, she's doing the GoFundMe pitch. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. I don't blame her. Get on TV. Sell yourself. Get that money. Yeah, yeah. She all her trip chances right there. She wasn't saying the right stuff. She wasn't. She wasn't. Yeah, coming she, none of the right points. Yeah, she didn't come in there fuck the police and you know. Yeah, she, she wasn't hard had, enough. She had Bad enough. Had money My right pastor there. is gonna have a fit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell you what, your pastor may have a, a fit, but the police commissioner of Baltimore said yes. we need more moms yeah, right, like more. you. Yeah. So there's a lot of praise, not just you know in Baltimore, no, we certainly around the country, <laughs> sending the moms. So. But no, let's not miss the point. This is do. about the death of Freddie Gray, <laughs> but it's so much bigger than that. Why do you think that is? Because they bad as hell. Somebody get their keys out the streets. But you having six children and know that you can't they, afford them. They are already well, no, here. No, before then. So why do we need a responsible people like that? Why I do mean, I don't know why like I don't know why her why she had six kids. I don't irresponsible. Had, so no, we don't need more mothers like that. Maybe we don't. I don't know. I'm talking about I'm talking about as far as like her getting her child out the street. Her yeah, having six, I, I'm that. not. What she do her womb and between and that, that's her business. I can't no, stop not, it. It's our business because we're paying. How? For, it's our business too. It's our business too. We pay for a lot of stuff. Yeah. That don't make it right. We're paying for this exactly. So no, we Man, don't need any more mothers like this. Y'all can't control we nobody. Yes, right. we can't. We we could if we wanted to, if we had laws to. But right, we can't. Our taxes pay so for them. No, no, no. Them laws ain't gonna do nothing. That's just that. No, nah, them laws. That's ain't gonna why do we shouldn't condone it. it. No, we don't need more mothers like this. We don't. Yeah, I do. No. I, I I halfway agree with you because like if you could stop. I think she a good. I think she trying. I think she trying to do the best. She's she trying can. because she put herself but it's too in late. a predicament. But it's too late, right? Yeah, she couldn't help herself. Yeah, you can't ignore the the. So tell me this. So tell me this. Tell me this. AP, you seem to be pretty hard on um on 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 women. Um, yes, and, I am. And, yes. And um, we had a comment the other day. Angel Martinez. I wonder if Angel is in here, man. Angel, if you in here, man, show me. Come your on head. up, Angel. You did you did you did you see what Angel was saying about you? In no, the, um, I don't look at the comments. No, but what? Okay. You enlighten me, please. Angel, Angel, Angel went at your, and I'm not trying to start nothing, but I just want to just show no, you. No, no, like, go, go, come, come along. She, I'm, she, I'm she, she went, she went at your, she went at your neck, um, in the in the comment section, and I just wanted to know, um, if 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 you if you hear this a lot because a lot of women, you know, they, I do, they, they, I do, they, they they take up for each other. It's rarely exactly, that and that's the problem. These same you know women that will take up. For each other they were trash men you know like i said talk about equality and i'm for equality okay so if the blame should be going on both sides you can't sit up here and say i want rights for this 
is I'm in control of my own body. I'm in control of this. I'm in control of that. And you don't take responsibility for it. Yeah, we had, I got the comments right here. Cause I, when I heard, when I saw this, I was like, I, cause I always been wondering, like, I, I'm sure women don't like the fact that you say the things that you say. If she's welcome to come up and have a debate and I'll be happy to have it. She says, okay, so I listened to it and AP as usual has to man me for sun men by attacking sun women. She couldn't handle brown sugar acknowledging that it is stressful being a sun woman with zero male leadership. And it's stressful. And it's But the thing about it is, what is so stressful about being a sun woman that other women don't have? The stress our, that some our hold women, on, hold on. The our stress our that men women don't be there for us. Is that from their own creation? Let's let's keep it a buck. And as far as mammy and for some men, no, I don't. But I do have to say this: when, like I said, women have fought for rights in this country, for to have the right to control their bodies, to have the right to vote. So now all of a sudden, you throw the you fought for those rights. You say, "I'm in control of my own body. I'm in control of my own destiny." But then when you're held accountable for making irresponsible decisions, then you want to throw it on a man. You can't have it both ways. Okay, so what do you think about the part where she says sun women have zero male leadership? Who created those men? The sun man and the sun woman. But in most of these places where you have weak men, they're the product of single mothers. Who's pushing the feminist agenda to take rights away from men? Who's pushing all this say that they're equal to men and they're not really? Who's pushing for all these rights which they then fought fight for? Let's keep it a buck here. So we talk still about think she a good mom though. I don't care about that. Let's let's stay on topic. And I think the that's what the topic was on about her. No, that's not. The and topic the was that I'm mammying for sun men. I'm not mammying for anybody. I just speak I don't know what you taking old girl because she got six kids. Yeah, we do. don't we didn't get up in the, we don't get up in the middle of the night and give them no bottles. We don't go grocery shopping for them. We don't clock in for them. It ain't none of our business. Since she got six kids, I seen her try to get her son away from the violence unlike everybody else so she trying i gotta agree i gotta agree she so, was out there she pulled her son from danger he had a brick in his hand about to be another you know and there's some some woman they got a husband and that's their only child he out there probably setting up senior citizen home on fire so just because I don't want to judge the lady because she got so many children. I'm not judging make, her. What I'm saying a bad is person. that you can't make excuses. If you're going to make excuses for women, then have the same respect, the same for men. You can't say once again that I'm in control of my own body. I'm I'm my own person. I'm grown. But then when you're held accountable for it, oh, I you don't know her circumstances. She did you don't know what happened to she her. her kids. You don't know what did. She could have got an abortion. She could have got, 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 got an abortion. She could have got an abortion. That's how much you can't do she, that. Look, she, she every time she got pregnant, that lady made her bed up and had each baby. She could have easily like cop out and had abortion six times she could have easily but she did well she ain't on birth control well, but she each she had okay responsible but she still took responsibility for every baby she got pregnant with how Either you know that you know her medical tax history? dollars to raise it. How, how you know why well, she couldn't get a birth control? How you know she wasn't even raped? How you know she ain't got well, two sets of twins? It's a whole well, bunch of how you oh, know. Oh, she could have triplets, two sets of triplets. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. She could have twice. Have eight, she could have got she pregnant had, twice and had, had two sets of triplets. I mean, I'm just saying. We let keep me, going on and on. Let me ask Brown Sugar something right quick. Brown Sugar. So, 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 I, you said that we didn't buy her groceries and we didn't like pay her but technically that's not true 
we do buy our groceries all the time. time. We buy, we yes, buy we politician do. groceries. We buy the people in Ukraine groceries. We buy the inmates groceries. We buy the illegal Mexicans groceries. We doing everything with our money. Who cares? So it's tax so dollars. It's the cost of going through the country. Let's come on now. Let's be for real. Brown sugar. The people that care are the people who are busting their ass to earn that money. Thank you. She just lost her damn job. So when she was going to work, she was paying taxes out too, like everybody else. She's a working poor. With six kids. <laughs> With six kids that <laughs> you don't get up and take and care no of, problem. and I don't either. And we pay like, for tell me this. Oh, so let me ask yeah, you this, brown sugar. <laughs> brown sugar, brown sugar. So, so the six kids, now, now if you're poor, right, and you have two kids, and I see you, and I see you're poor, and I'm like, you're telling me, yeah, I'm, I'm poor, and, uh, and life's pretty hard. If I come back, if we bump, crawl, bump heads seven years later, and you got four more kids, and you, it, I got, there's something wrong with that, because you, it's not fair to the kid. The two kids you had when I first saw you, if you were struggling with them at that point, it was, uh, it was it was in your best interest to do, devote every resource you had to them, not bring four more little grubby future bank robbers into the picture. Maybe, you know what I'm maybe future bank robbers. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to say this. Yeah, I mean, people make poor decisions all the time. Okay. Yeah, there may be but, a poor decision. Yeah, yeah, we make poor decisions, and, but we're talking about our life. We're talking about lives here. That's a difference. Lives that we don't take care of. Yeah. Them her oh, kids. God. We can't if help it. Because you just, okay, so what? They take some money out your check? Yes. You, you whine about that? Yes. They're going to take, take it out your check anyway. I, well, mean, I want to keep it myself. I don't want to give it to anyone. Uh, then you have to move out of America then, sweetie. Because that's not how it works. No, then you know we need people to be more responsible. And They're like not. Said, they, it, you no, just no. be responsible they for yourself. You people. can't do it. Responsible okay, myself, that's all I'm you can worry about. People. And these people are tearing down the community. With that they let they tear down no damn they community. Are communi Who's committing the most crimes out there? You don't know that, brown sugar. Whole families. Come on. Y'all black kids. Young, exactly. Young black kids. Single moms. Single moms. Mom. Well, well, single like mom who had to lay down with men. Parents. Single irresponsible black moms. Single ir That's what I'm saying. You blame the women, but you're not even thinking Why about. Why not blame the women? They can because get birth control, honey. The you men can put on a protection, you can a honey. Pill. You can get an abortion. They, they, they don't want an abortion. They don't want to kill their kids. And then Why what about the men? woman can require Why? her man to wear a condom? Exactly. You ever think about that one? Okay, and why the man don't keep it out then? He don't got to take why it out. Why don't she make it? <laughs> hey, brown sugar. It sounds stupid. You know why? Because we are the ones stretching our bodies for nine months for doing this. He can get up and leave like they always do. She's the one stuck. So women are stupid. This is a no. This is a no nonsense argument. Wow. Okay, yeah, girl. Listen, whatever. Hey, uh, right uh, along, you know uh, that was that was pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. I like that. It's, it's not like a no. It's just it's just people so quick. To say what is so easy to do, where we don't even Nine know. Nine months is not what, quick, honey. Sorry, we don't even know. I know how pregnancy works too, sweetheart. I got a womb too, a good one too. Okay, but anyway, so you were pregnant. Uh, how many children, brown sugar, do you have? None of y'all business. But anyway, uh, back to what okay, I was so saying. you know, yeah. you know, as a woman, when you're ovulating, yes or no? Sometimes some women have irregular periods. Where they don't know. Some women. We're not talking some women. We're talking you specifically. Yes or no? You might, First of all, you don't need to know what the fuck going on in my pussy, okay? <laughs> oh, see, that's what the difference is. Oh, and there's the deflection. There's the deflection. You, 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 you open the can, act. You open the can. <laughs> how how no, no, no. open the can? How no, open the can? Y'all want to jump on me. Look, all I'm saying is people are so quick. Go ahead. Nine months is not quick. I know nine I'm months ain't like quick. That's go. how everybody had to be in their mama womb was nine months. Everybody right. comes from a woman and everybody comes from a man. So why you keep putting everything on a woman like the man don't because exist? Because nine months, you're the one carrying a burden. You're the one going to be getting Because you're the mother. Life. You're the woman. Exactly. That's why. God gets and you're only you. fertile you're for three days a fucking month. Yeah. Okay, Hello. what's your point? Brown, oh, you 
Yeah. <laughs> Brown sugar versus the What's world. The point? Yeah. Don't cut hey, those three days. Saying, That's Brussels, the point. They hating on me. Like, I swear. No, it's not hating. We're just trying to cure stupidity. Yeah, I'm show what stupidity. You the stupid, stupid to lay down with a man who's I not going to stay with I you. I bet it's you a set of twins away from need a section eight. <laughs> How do you know that? Come on, come on. I won't have to mute people. Let me ask this brown brown sugar this question, man. Brown sugar. So <laughs> y'all y'all kind of like maybe forget, but but brown sugar, how many women that son women do you think actually know that you can only get pregnant for three 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 um days out of the month? Like this ovulation cycle. Like how many son women? Because I didn't learn that I, until recently. I don't know. I I don't know. I was been on birth control. How I'm many? Sad, eight, how huh? many sun women actually go to the doctor like they're supposed to and get themselves? I don't. Out? I don't know. I don't wake up with, with sun women every day all over the world. I don't know. Do you know how many white women? Do you know how many on More than women? sun women do. Do you More know this though? Do, do you what know? Keywords think? think. How many do you yeah. think? I don't know. You don't then know. No one I mean, do you do know? Evidently, more than some women. Maybe. How you know? Pull up statistics. More than some women, because if you go to any college campuses, you say a lot of girls out there wilding out too, but none of them coming up pregnant like some women. So somebody's going to the doctor. Because some, some women might not want to have an abortion. They're not using all, all not using abortion. They know about IUDs and birth control. Maybe, or they just get on abortion too. Well, either way, they're not their kids are not filling up the streets, tearing down the neighborhood, shooting and drive bys, and all that other kind of stuff. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> this is beautiful. You just gotta keep so living. Think, think, keep no, living. Think, keep it's living, sad. sweetie. That's all you gotta it's do. Sad. Keep living. I That's all living. I can say. But it's sad keep, though. Keep getting older. Society Let's see how your children come out to be. It's very sad. Because it's easy to judge and point fingers at everybody else, but your it's kids ain't judge even grown you yet. See with your own eyes, what you see. You're right. But yeah, your I kids ain't even AP. grown yet. AP, so how are you gonna say this? AP, what, what's your is, oldest child? What is your oldest child? How? Just give us the age. You don't have to give us how many you know, My oldest child is less than ten. That's and what I'm saying. No, he no, a child, no. he a baby. So you want to sit here and judge everybody in the yes, world because yes, he got some. Because my youngest baby. child is yes. 24. You don't, you yes. don't know. Because you don't know how the child is way. going to turn he out to be. Out <laughs> Maybe you don't know. No one knows how their kid going to grow to be. No one grabs it. No I woman do. had a newborn baby in their arm and said, you're going to grow up and murder a bunch of people. You're going to... No one says that to their baby. All you can do is do what you can do. Raise your child the best way you can. In the end of the day, that child will grow up and have their own mindset, find their own friends, deal with their own separate peer pressure. Period. Lead by example. Hold on, we got P Petite Delight. Maybe. What's up, Petite Delight? How are you? The floor is yours. Uh-oh. Your mic ain't on or something. Yeah, she dropped. She dropped. But anyway, so 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 I think that what we have here is that um and being so sun proximal, um brown sugar has a soft spot in her um soul for the sun because she's she's from Memphis and she's proximal, she knows their struggle. Now AP, you are more from like MAGA country. You're more like in in you know from areas where there's not a lot of sun people. So you may not really understand like the everyday day to day, you know, nuances of the thing. Is that is, 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 you know? Do you would you would you agree with that, AP? No, I come into contact with a lot of sun people from um, through my work history. I've come into contact with a lot of sun people from different. Economic spectrum. Were you, were, you were you a social worker or something like that? What, what I'm doing? not going to say, but I will say this there is a problem within the Sun community. And the biggest problem is recognizing that they have a problem and taking responsibility for it. And like I said, Sun sisters have a lot of power. Okay. And a lot yeah. of the problems in our community stem from the women. Hell no. I'm not blaming women. 
it's men, women and men. You just gonna leave men out of everything. I'm not leaving men out of everything. You just said you, you just said it's the women though. He said most of the women. Most, and even when it's most of men and women. You, why are you getting excited? Just relax. because I <laughs> you got excited with me, sis. Let's keep it one hundred. But you got excited with me, sis. Let's keep it one hundred. You did though, sister. for real. Anyway, I'm for, I know you ain't my sister. We ain't on the same. I don't, I don't want you to be my sister. I don't want you to be my sister. For real. Oh, oh, God, I don't want you to be my sister. Let's keep of it 100. I know. You don't know nothing about me. I ain't no, from Mad. I ain't from Mad. You hear me? For real. No, we're not from the same page. No, we're <laughs> not from the same page. No, I, can't I guarantee you we ain't. Thank you. I trust me. Oh, God, we ain't. I don't want to be from the same page. Ding, 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 ding. Can I interject real quick? Real quick. 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 Real not say anything about wow. what these niggas out here doing. Wow. Wanna, how, you how you crying you about a few dollars out your check? Okay, I'm so what? Two dollars on my check. You crying because they take some money out your check? They take free. They're going to take it out anyway. They're going to take it out anyway. If Section 8 didn't exist, they're going to still take their money out. And guess what? It's going to go in the pockets of politicians. It's going to go into okay, the Okay, Brown Sugar. System. So I'm going to come no, to your house no on solutions. Friday and no I'm going to take an extra $40 <laughs> out of no your shit just because. <laughs> as long as you're so fucking okay with it, just I'll be right, right over. Bro, bro, stop talking to me, bro. Talk. But anyway, like I was saying, they're going to take the money out your check anyway. Regardless, if those things never existed, but I don't want it to go to women and single moms with six okay. Kids well, I tell you couples. what, I tell you I what, know. when you when you you say you got a little kid, when a child grow up, you he might be in that position, the very no position man, that you don't know that. That's what I'm saying. You talk he bad won't. about a system that mm-hmm. some that someone in your family might one day need. Hopefully, she talked to him about birth control. Exactly, <laughs> man. It's like y'all just don't pick understand. Up, pick up, yeah, I hope, swear. Birth control, like Hopefully, they up. use that system accordingly. We'll okay. Uh, yeah, you they should don't live off the system. Right, I'm, I'm done talking. Wait, AP, AP, can I ask you a question? I, I swear, mean, it's a big bunch of millionaires on this panel, though, right? Okay. Can can, can when, I? When you live at AP, um, um, how many murders did you did, did you guys have last year? Zero. Okay, and and we know you're from Memphis, um, um, Brown Sugar. Oh, Audrey. So so now, <laughs> so now, now, now Brown Sugar, now Brown Sugar. If if if, if, if even if we do want to disagree with AP, even if we do want to call her a mammy, and you know all this crap, all this other stuff, right? No, Aunt your mama is good. I'm Aunt your okay, mama. Okay, Auntie Mama, right? <laughs> if, if we, even if we do want to call her that and say that she's unrealistic about some women, she's not um, understanding the nuances and, and you know, talking about taxes and don't really matter because they're going to take the tax or something. Doesn't the sheer fact that when you live in a place where there aren't any son sisters, or sun men, but we're talking about sun sisters now. But there's no sun sisters, you don't have this these problems. Can you at least admit that that's a fact? That if you remove sun sisters from a place, shit just immediately gets safer, cleaner, better, more prosperous. You know, because you got the white women. They love these niggas too. And they act just, they, they could take, they go step up to the plate. Oh God! I'm talking about Ooh. these mud sharks out here. I'm not talking about the little okay. nice Beckys. But he, he just said zero. She said zero murders. So she has the result. You're speculating. Yeah. You're better you off saying you didn't you know. You can't fix it. You can't fix it. It's no solutions. Move on, Ozzy. No solutions. No okay, solutions. Okay. Yeah, hey, but I don't know. Real she, quick, you know. Angel looked like she's coming for more than just uh, AP. She says some of your panel regulars are unforgivably stupid. Does she come on the panel ever? Angel? Well, she 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 was on here a few times in the past. She hasn't been on in a long time. Okay, because that's a lot of shit talking right there. 
Hey, she man, said some. I mean, she said some. I mean, she she is right. I mean, some 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 of y'all are fucking morons, but it depends on the topic. I mean, like you know, every some we all can get out of our depths on certain topics. We don't know. We all have our um specialties of our areas of specialty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm a moron on some things. That's why, like, when it comes to like guns and how to like all this different shit, I know how to shoot a gun. Yeah, but I most of gun. this argument act is about something that we all learned when we were 12 years old. Birth control. <laughs> some people no was no move on, there. on no more move on because you know what you can't you can't fix this mentality. Like I said, there's no solutions, and this could continue to be a problem. <laughs> Hopefully and if somebody's going to take the money anyway, I'll be right. over for my 40. Yeah. We're unforgivable. Yeah. That ain't even no money, though. It's folks getting like six, eight. It's folks getting thousands, of, paying two, three thousand dollars. That's what you don't get. 40 from you, 40 from your neighbor, 40 from this person, <laughs> exactly. 40 from that person. Adds up quick, honey. Facts. I'm not your honey, bro. Like, chill. Like, I don't even know you, dude. Like, for real. Wait, 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 wait. I, I kind of, look, I see both sides of y'all argument. I'm going to tell you why. My mom, my dad. My mom, she had two kids already. Yeah, yeah. She had two kids already, right? Long story short, they they died. He died. She met my dad. Uh, me and my brother came along after them. Two vastly different scenarios between my little brother and my older two brothers. That so I see both sides, and that's why that's why I'm like, e it's a it's a gray area right here. And also, too, since I I've been accused of caping for some men, let me give some advice to the some men out there. Make sure you choose wisely who you share your DNA with, because a lot of these women are just stupid and they're a waste of DNA. Be very wise. You fucking hate women, Darren. This you crazy as hell. This like, I, I, I don't is never, more important than the never, I never shit on my y'all both on my gender. Oh my y'all both this, this, I don't get And I didn't call you honey in an affectionate term. I was using I, it as a young term because I think you're young and dumb. Okay, I think you old and still and stinky. Okay, and whatever. Fuck, who cares? I'm not young and dumb. I know exactly what I'm talking about. I seen this stuff with my eyes. I seen it with my own eyes. How stuff can be, how life can just happen. How you I life can story. just happen, I, but it doesn't minute. happen I, six times. I done did stories on women who had big ass families and husbands get gunned down. I done did stories on men who had five children and wife get gunned down. So life happened. That's a difference. No, it ain't difference. difference. They still lay down here oh, kids God. five times. It, to lay down and have six kids with different men is different than having how you know like, what it's different. You don't know, you don't know oh, though. God. She could have low self-esteem. Uh, what's the next it's, topic uh, we're doing though? No girl, shit. Scoop girl, lobotomy. It's, wow. It's sad. It's I'm, sad I'm because Girl, like I said, which okay, dude, man, boy, whatever. Since she don't want to be labeled as a woman, obviously. Cause you hate women your mama. so i mean whatever all i'm saying is life can happen life can freaking happen where that government assistance you may need it you don't know why she you don't know if she was a, a prostitute shining, you don't know if she was can happen next i don't got look i'm trying to call your bitch because i want to so i'm Go trying ahead, not to make you feel better okay bitch Cause that's what no, you act. That's no, what you act no, like. You got my no, fucking no. You think you're so smart, but you're not. You like I said. You probably set the twins away from needing food stamps. You probably set the triplets away from needing Section Eight. So please be careful, cause I, if the next nigga you lay down with bust one in you and you get pregnant with triplets, I guarantee everyone you, is Section I Eight from a triplet. Do you know how much I, it costs to raise I three fucking babies? You be your daughter, some you can't be hard, dude. Anyway, uh, I guarantee you. That you're gonna need some snap or section eight. If you lay down and get pregnant with a set of triplets, I guarantee you you're gonna be in that line saying, I need help. He even said it. Mm. You married, wow. Brown Sugar? Yeah, I'm married. Okay, that's good. So he's a lucky man. He is <laughs> very lucky. He's gonna be lucky in a few hours, too. <laughs> she on honey, she on go. Listen, 
Hey, yo. Shout out to Miguel. Good scrap, ladies. <laughs> I just man, oh my god, y'all are trip, y'all are trip. Oh, let me, let me, let me. This story just popped up. Um, how ironic, man. Let's see what's going on. The family of a 15-year-old murdered in Baltimore County last month is begging for someone to come forward. So it's nice. They had a viewing for Lamar Leslie Allen today. WJZ is live. Jessica Albert was at the viewing, and Jessica, you were able to. Damn, got my cousin. Yeah, Nikki, it's been 11 days since Lamar Leslie Allen was murdered, and I spoke to his family tonight. They told me that they really want people to feel and understand and see how heartbroken they are to hopefully prevent someone else's child from getting murdered. I'm empty. He's my only son. The family of 15-year-old Lamar Leslie Allen are preparing to lay him to rest. I won't get to get his permit. I won't get to buy him a car. So you have... Women, yeah, obviously this is mama, grandma, um, I guess a daughter, a auntie. Daughter. So it's nothing but women here. Um, and listen, man, I, I got to give Brown Sugar um, a break because the reason it's all women here is not all because of these women. It, the men are not, it's a lot of the men's fault that they're not, that there's no men. Is that one man standing here? Yeah, because they accept less. If you if you lay down with a guy and he ain't going to be there tomorrow, why the hell not? He ain't going to be there. No, but but Bill, Bill, Bill Wyoming man, the pickings are slim in these communities, <sighs> man. It ain't a lot to work with, man. And I'm a son, man, and I know I'm supposed to be manosphere and black man can't do nothing wrong, but the pickings is slim, Jack. The pickings is slim. You got it, these sisters. I, that's why the passport bros are making a fucking killing. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Men can't get up and walk away. Women can't get up and walk away. She decided a lot of women can't get up and just say, you know, I don't want to be a mama. I'm gonna leave my kids. Just like men can say, I don't want to be there for my kids. I'm gonna leave. Uh, it's just more men doing it than women. Well, they women have more AP incentive. in the back. AP, oh, AP. <laughs> I had to get Plus, that one in. Not, no, I, I do. I, I, I agree a little bit with Brown Sugar, too. But what also what AP said that's a major point is that women are the gatekeepers of sex. If the legs don't open, nothing happens. Exactly. So that's to be some accountability for that part. Because unless he re he grapes, then it's not going to happen. <laughs> that's that's the what that's the and thing that happens a lot too. Him. Okay, okay. Well, we know that the majority of people born are not born for rape. Let's cut that exactly. out. Exactly. Let's cut that out. Um, but 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 here, here's the thing. Th oh, let me say oh, this. Let me say this real what, quick. What, what? I could have everybody loves to say that no one in this panel and no one in this world was present the day that was conceived. So how you know you're not a product of rape and your mama just never pressed charges? I'm talking it's about the And for a woman to say that wow. is full of shit. That's that's no, it's not. That's the Stop truth. Caping. Stop caping. No, that's the truth. Really, come on now. Keep you, it 100. You really how you know? How, no, come on now. No one. No, you come no, on. Come you're on really now. Let's keep. So now I'm not dropping to. No, all I'm saying is no one. What's there the day they've conceived? No, yes, how you son, not? How you know? How you, no one like I said, nobody in this world was there the day that they parents lay down. So how you know that you're not a product of rape and your mother never said anything? Women will go to no ends to find an excuse for their irresponsible yeah, that, behavior. I gotta say that's that was kind of a ridiculous. That, that was way out there, brown sugar. Like yeah, that, 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 that's come the on truth, now, you, you tripping on but that one. Oh, not, I, no, how I'm tripping. That's just the honest truth. No, I feel you on that. Sometimes what's done is done. You trying to save your kid. I, I felt you on that aspect. I even feel you somewhat on the taxes because, yeah, they shit money all over the place. I somewhat felt your point on that. Right. But, you know, whether or not yeah, we were there at conception, that's a little, come on. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah that's, that's that way out there. But I, I'm still with you, girl. I'm still with you. Yeah, oh, y'all so don't, really don't see that. Hold on, let me let Petite. Okay. Let me let Petite Delight. Okay, wow. Okay. Petite Delight. Hi, how you doing? 
Can you how hear me are now? you? Um, how fine. are you? I'm fine. I, I guess it's a heated conversation. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I'm kind of, I see both sides. But I, I'm I'm feeling brown sugar because, you know, as a black woman, I feel like we getting a bad rep here. Um, mm. It's a vicious cycle. Like we grew up in the same environment of like with black men, you know, and, you know, you said it earlier, the picking is very slim. Um, black women tend to be a bit more race loyal. Um, and mm. you don't know what you don't know. Like, you know, if you grow up and you don't have a father figure you you know you, you're going to learn by trial and error that's i mean now i'm not making excuses but that's like the reality you you don't know what you don't know um and that's why the, that's partially why the standards are low now what's good and what i do like is that a lot of black women are starting to you know wake up and have those um part conversations, you know, you seeing a push for um, more interracial dating and stuff. And I think we're heading in the right direction of, you know, increasing our standards. But I just, to me, Can when I, I listen- Can I ask you a uh -huh. Can I stop you right there? Uh -huh. You equated interracial dating with raising your standards. And that's fine. I'm not offended by that. Yeah. But what does that say, what does that say about a community when interracial dating is rare because when you when 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 gliders talk about or white people talk about interracial dating they talk about that shit is lower <laughs> that shit is the worst possible thing you can do is you know what I'm saying is 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 is, is get into a long-term relationship with a, with a son especially a son fella but if you're a son woman um mm -hmm. those women those boys are mostly raised by single women who um the, those boys that are that are that that are part of the the low standard that if you go to the white men you go to the high standard being the fact that the woman is the only one on the job yes the other person didn't show up but the woman is on the job do you think that the woman it's her fault that the guy that the black men are turning out so poor as it, on on average as as mates and as as providers as leaders I, I don't put it off like I, I I don't put it on the black woman. I, I, I feel like the black men are more culpable. Like if you're not showing up, I put more of the blame on the absent parent, whether it's a man or a woman. That's just okay. me. Okay, so 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 the black man is 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 the problem. Now now if if the black man is 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 the one that's 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 causing a lot of these problems. What do you feel about like every like year, every every two months, some black dude is posted up in the national stage as the biggest victim in the planet? I mean, I don't, <laughs> I didn't really think about that. I'm trying to process it. Um, Cause every few months we get a new black male victim and he, this is the worst thing that ever happened. And look what they do on the black men. They, they they can't even commit crime in peace. Well, you know, this is the part where I feel like with black women that, and I think that's where AP and like some of the listeners of that the frustration with black women is from because you know, like as the gatekeeper and just not being, you know, t totally honest about things is perpetuating that, you know, the victim mentality with the black. Because y'all are the ones, y'all are yeah. the ones that push that black male victimhood and y'all the ones that profit from that black male victimhood the most in the black community. All the leaders of BLM were black women. All the mayors of these major cities are black women. The police chiefs of a lot of these major cities are black women. The, the most notable black politicians in this era are black women. We don't, back in the day, you had a lot of notable black male politicians, but this era is all black women or women of color, uh, Cori Bush, um, what's, um, J what's James Brown looking like, Maxine Water, um, uh, oh, Shirley, why you say Shirley, James Brown what's, the, what's, the, what's the other one, Shirley Ch Jackson, Jackson, yeah. Jackson. But, yeah. you know, can I add something to the point? I, I think I know where you're going with this. I don't think that black women are looking like some of them. Yeah, it's a profit, but 
just basing it off of, you know, my friends, it's really, you have, you have faith in the black man. You know what I mean? You really believe that, you, you know, it yeah. takes a while, like for me, you know, dealing with the, you know, just dealing with the public, dealing, and I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm not bashing just black men. I think that's the part that black women have to own up is that we kind of, you know, promote that victim mentality. But I, if you ask me, I feel like we all need to do better. Um, yeah. But I really feel like it's the fact that, um, you know, you really believe it. What what you see on TV, it, I, it takes a little bit of uh, self-reflection and just observing your, your areas to realize it's not that we can do better. <laughs> so so you're, you're seeing that the reason that none of these guys, Floyd, um brooks none of these guys will be household names without black women leading the charge with these movements and all this protesting and shit. that y'all are the y'all are the galvanizing force in all of this stuff ben crump and a black woman hold on but ben crump is a lawyer ben crump comes in to scoop up the all the pot all the money it's and like I a, shout not a black woman no, hold on. It's it's like a stripper. When the stripper, when 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 the, all the dudes throw the money on the stage at the end, the stripper doesn't pick each dollar up. At the end, she comes, scoops all the money up, and that's what Al Sharpton and Ben Crump do. But the nuts and bolts of all that other shit, at at, at the ground level, is black women caping for criminal black men like while they're doing man. wrong. While they're doing wrong. Okay. Yeah, that's, and that's bad. Yeah. And here's and something else. Terrible. It's, yeah. I don't want to be biblical about this, but the the woman is a garden, right? I'm a guy. I'm a. I could have six buckets of dirt, and all I got is seeds. So if I put a seed in each bucket, the only one that's going to produce fruit is the bucket that has the nutrients, the whatever that that seed requires. That's the woman. If you just throw your seed everywhere, you're going to have fuck ups like this out running around. Hmm. And I agree. I, I, I agree. I mean, the, I think, the weeds will take the garden. Yeah, I think women need to, you know, it's some uh, area we need to work on. But it's just like when I listen to, you know, certain people, it's the, it comes across as very judgmental or it's like black women are, you know, like nobody's understanding from the black woman's perspective and that the intent is good. You know, it's mm. You know, we have good intent. You really the, want to believe your, your, your the road is, to hell is paved with good intentions. And I understand where you're coming from with that too. You know, that's why I like our channel. I agree. Okay, because we. Just but how much so education does it take? Well, this is the 21st century. We all know how babies are made. Birth control been around for over a hundred years. I mean, goddamn, what does it do? We got a computer. Got computer. Got with the palm of our hands. It's coming across as judgmental. We still want to have a problem. It's the order of family. That's all it is to it. The order of family is destroyed. That's all there is to it. It's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty basic. Like if 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 the black women would start to say, I mean, and you're never gonna end all this shit, but if they just decided that, hey. Having a family, let's just start there, is the priority. Not just, oh, I can do it on my own. Not just, I made a mistake. They should, you know, it's kind of have to be a conscious effort from my childhood. Like, I teach my daughters, get married, be a good woman, take care of yourself, all that type of shit early so that we not, you know, we can't keep saying, like, like, like you got to be honest. Like, I've even dealt with, in my times, I've dealt with a single mother, but goddamn, the bro got six of them. And four, five baby daddies, that's a different kind of energy than Did okay, she say it though? Huh? I mean, like, okay, but this is the thing we black women do know about birth because he just said it himself that there's black leaders and everything. So, like, give black women credit for accomplishing things. Like, she's making it seem like we just like baby mama having babies, you're all irresponsible. Black, I mean, do you, women, do you need good that women? Wait, 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 that does mean something, okay? Like, because what do you need it's like, for that? I hear no other people true. asking for credit no, wait, wait, just because they wash their behinds. So, no, Why do you no, need no. credit for that? What, what is your problem with black women? You're saying there like, was no problem. Okay, then go, have the same smoke for the black men. 
why is it where does it start where does single parenthood i come for i come for both sides the problem is like i say with black men is if you love yourself you be careful with the woman you lay down with and, and that's the, and the issue i have with black men, men is they don't they really be care about who themselves they lay down with. they'll be careful about who they lay down with and as for a woman like i said i blame women because for nine months we're the ones carrying the burden so if you're stupid enough to let somebody don't know that you and you be you stuck with it for a whole don't, don't nine months to 18 stupid. years then you that's are crazy. the dummy of the two no, don't, don't, don't. This don't, don't even make any sense. Stupid. That's so don't stupid, AP. Come on now. It's How is it stupid? stupid? Please explain. AP. Uh, let's, no, girl. hold on. Let's say, let's say, AP, let's say you got, you got married. You get married and you and your husband. Well, you, you know, we're not talking about married women. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come on, man. Wait a minute. Let's say, listen. Can you let me finish? Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let's say you get married, right? You get married, you and your husband grieve. Y'all gonna have four children. Time go by. Let's say he meets something at work and leave. We're not talking well, about. Uh, wait a minute. You wait a minute. We're talking about the same thing. So why do you keep bringing it up? Just like you brought up the rape. It doesn't make any sense what you're saying. We're not talking about married women. Married huh? women out here are having a whole bunch of kids by five or six different men. You need to come off your BS. That's what you're doing. So stop saying it's the same. It's not the same. Oh, I think AP, you didn't let me finish. You didn't let me finish. I'm trying to give you a scenario. Your scenario is BS, and you know. No, it's it. not. You, you won't let me finish because you know that shit is real. That's what it is. You won't let me finish because you know mom. it's real. You, you know, you know, know a man mom. can walk away with with or without a ring. You know that, right? Do you know that women push seventy five percent of abortion? Women drop their kids off all the time, ma'am. You can kill it in the womb. What are you talking about? It's the same thing. Let's not say the birth is both. That's what it is. It's evil. Women file for 75% of divorces. So women are leaving. Let me, play this, let me play this video. Uh, yeah. Let me play this video. Let me play this video. And most of the, play, and most of the uh, people who are homeless out on the street who can't get anything, then. Let me play uh, this let video. Let me play the house thing since you're capable for so much. Video, video. Sixteen year old Martasia tells her mom God will provide and that this road she travels down now will provide for her and her five daughters. Probably a thirteen year old took out that window. Hold on, Bill. Wow, man, man, you gotta stop doing that, man. The people it's 400 people that can't hear the video. I'm video. sorry, I'm pissed off. I said it's probably a 13 year old that broke out the window. Okay. We'll provide for her and her five daughters. Every week, Alicia Carter delivers mail to homes in Maryland's Prince George's County. Homes in one of the nation's wealthiest black communities. The kind of home Alicia Carter dreams of because right now this mail carrier doesn't even have one i was so shocked to find out you were a mail carrier yeah and mm -hmm. you're homeless what do you want people to know now what do you think about that ap do you have a heart this woman's working and she's still homeless that's a good ass job though i don't know she got five daughters do you have a do you do you have a do, 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 does this pull at your heartstrings ap I don't know. I think she's. I don't know if she's. In, if she's. If she's. You, you muted AP, but um, I know oh, she dropped. Okay. Not yes. in the slightest. She she this made her choices. Okay, God damn it. Nah, she feel like they all should have been killed in the womb, and she is a burden of society. Like that's how she feel. <laughs> with her okay. with her homeless working ass, she done made her yeah. choice. Yeah, it's her fault. I, yeah, I don't know though. I, I know mail carriers. And... People to know mail carriers make good money. That. Yeah. Yeah. If you're homeless, is it sixty-five thousand a year? You're doing something wrong. I I I I can't I can't even I can't cape for this woman at all. I can't even try. You I don't know. Bro, they have okay, retirement. Bro, okay. They have health care. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me. Mail carrier doesn't even have one. I was so shocked to find out. You were a mail carrier. Yeah. And you're <laughs> homeless. What do you want people to know right. about that? To have a job, a good job at that, and then still be homeless was like, 
what am I doing wrong? Just keep working, not giving up. From Alicia's mouth to God's ears. Alicia, why didn't you want to tell anybody at the post office that you were homeless? I'm more independent. I really don't like more like handles or someone feeling pity for me. I mean, look, she don't like handouts and people having pity for her. She independent, man. I mean, like, and this is a lot She's of these strong, sisters. strong, is independent. Don't look like them kids are starving. Is she full time? Does she say what happened? That or I don't that, know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to see what. Someone feel a pity for me. A commitment to her family that will take this unwavering mom and mail carrier down a surprising route to recovery. Fortune comes in many things and mostly they're people. How are you? With random acts of kindness that will help get her there. She ain't even there wearing uniforms. Something wrong with this picture. Single parents in the U.S. 80 percent. No, they do that out here too. A lot of economists are calling this recession a she session because it's hit women across the spectrum uh, much more so than men. <laughs> this pandemic has ravaged already poverty stricken cities like Baltimore, hitting people of color, particularly black single moms like Alicia, the hardest. Well, women of color are much more likely to be holding an in-person job, especially in the service sector that's been uh, hit more severely by COVID-19. I really bristle at the idea that, that people say women are opting out of the labor market. They're not opting out, they're being pushed out. Alicia lost her job when the pandemic hit. Then the family lost their rental house. So this hotel became their home. Then when the money ran out. You all lived in the car together? We would all sit in one seat. She would sit in the middle, Paige sit by the door, I sit by the door, and the twins would lay on our list. How did you survive that? It really didn't. Not say bother them, <clears throat> it hurt me more. So as long as we all was together, they was happy. My question is, what kind of community can you live in where you can have five girls and a woman sleeping in the car and the community don't handle that? Because what I think what's going to happen, I haven't seen this video, some white people going to come along and give her some shit. Facts. There it is, facts. If you work at the post office, you can afford to live somewhere. Well, we don't know how long she's been working there. And then, I ain't gonna lie, her teeth missing, so I don't know if she was on drugs back in the day and got in some debt. I don't know what's going on. They, they This is, I believe it's, it's due to a lack of workers already, and they just let this woman get this job. Who knows? At the end of the day, people don't For fight horniness. Mother. That's that's why you got all these kids. Yeah, f f pussy plus dick equal a fuck, man. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Absolutely. You know, as long as we all was together, they was happy. For single mother, Angel Marino, a certified medical assistant in Detroit, she had no choice but to keep reporting to her job at a hospital. I can't afford not to work. We've been following her story since the pandemic began. In December, she talked with my colleague, Rebecca Jarvis. How have you been managing all of this? Oh my goodness. Um, it's just been very difficult since the pandemic began in March. And thank God I have a team, people I work with, my manager, my supervisor, they are very resourceful. Even before the pandemic, finances were tight for Angel and her three children, ages 10, seven, and six. She never wants them to be homeless like she was as a child after her mother died. And I want my kids to have stability. Childcare has been one of her biggest problems to solve. In the spring, her children were in a free daycare for essential workers, a lifeline funded for a time by philanthropies. Childcare is not a family issue, it's a business issue. Childcare is a piece of critical infrastructure. It's like roads and bridges that help working parents get to work. And it's especially important that we get single moms back into the workforce because you can't work an in-person job if you don't have childcare. Her children finally entered an in-person learning pod at their school, but it had to close in December. COVID cases spiked again. The choice of work and kids, it shouldn't be a choice. Like, I shouldn't have to, I want to be the best mom I can be. But Angel has a hard-won resilience. We can do it, though. I was born for this. Like, I was born to, like, cross mountains. So I'm on my way in. It's Thursday. Two months later, Angel proved that was true. If there's a mountain, I'm going to get over it. You got to speak 
positivity. Angel not only held on to her job, she even got a raise. But the trickiest part, her kids. Luckily, she found a remote school program at the local Y. I think they'll be proud of me. When we all look back on this in the future, that like, mom, we've been through a lot together. My kids are resilient. <laughs> The Y, combined with the program at their school reopening, has been a vital lifeline for single working moms like Angel. I'm optimistic, and I, I would tell all the single moms out there, don't be afraid. Don't live in fear. It can take one day at a time. So Here tell me this. You guys wouldn't you guys wouldn't would wouldn't give a few dollars out of your check to make sure that these kids have a place to stay and they got groceries in there. Um in the refrigerator for how long willingly willingly yeah i definitely would because i'm not gonna hold you that daycare shit expensive it's a motherfucker like i would that's why i only had three <laughs> kids that's all i could afford i mean i mean i do i i give you know what i'm saying and they gonna take that anyway either, uh, unwillingly is what i'm saying unwillingly you know what I'm saying? I they gonna take I don't that anyway yeah i would give yeah, this is, I mean, this is a confirmation bias kind of story, but I, I mean, of course I would if it was my family member, but yeah, I mean, you know. No, what, what, what I'm saying is, is if, if, if the answer is no, then it's no. I mean, it don't have to, don't. Bro. Yeah, if you don't yeah. want to do it, you don't want to do yeah, it. You don't do it. Like, I mean, <laughs> you, don't, saying, I'm I mean you ain't got no choice. They're going to take it out, but I'm just saying like, you know. Okay, what if they, what if you could decide what your money was going to go to? Would you mind have a problem with saying, all right, you can send it. The money you taking out anyway, you can send it to these people. My only scenario, her working husband died on the job. Mm, widow pay, <laughs> pretty much. She would have got a big yeah. check back then. <laughs> she wouldn't need nothing else. Nah, but as you know, it's, it's kind of funny about that, like welfare in a lot of other countries is temporary. Like you can't get it for years and years. So it may it, it's an incentive for you to get your shit straight, and then like I'm more down for that. I'm down to I give willingly if it was temporary, and you have to you know. Remember that village we talked about where they were hacking that guy up? If a woman came home to that to the to their to their hut, pregnant, and there wasn't a man marrying them with a goat and a fucking cow with a bell on it, if she came home again pregnant. That woman was either dead or gone. Damn. God damn, Bill. Exactly. So I'm glad we're in America so we can help women so they won't be dead and gone. America. Or they could country not on this fuck planet. everybody. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, listen, wow. man. Listen. So listen man. A lot of people. A lot of Better people yet. Don't screw all you give. want. Just do it safely. Yeah, a lot of people don't want to pay for pay for your kids, no matter how sad the story is. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has been got a, a vital sad lifeline for single working moms like Angel. I'm optimistic, and I I would tell all the single moms out there: don't be afraid, don't live in fear. It can take one day at a time. There are very tangible things we can do right now to keep women in the labor force, to keep single moms afloat with their families, because we know this is temporary. It just blows my mind right now that we have a very solvable problem in front of us and just lack the political will to address it. For Alicia Carter and her daughters left living in that car, the road to success was humbling. We would wear each other's shoes. We would wear each other's clothes. We would say, wear the same clothes. Like we would have to like, I don't know. It was just, it was a lot. Had to go to school and then have friends that be like, oh, if you ever need anything, but you didn't really want to say anything because you didn't want them to like make fun of you or, um, it's okay. I don't know. But Martinez. And it is tough going to a son's school when you ain't got the right shoes. Oh, okay. boy. Oh, yes, oh, it boy. is. Hell, man. Ten years from now, Ayana fixed my life. That whole family. Oh wow! Damn, I never, man. I never. That's why I never wore nine brand shoes, so they will never pressure me. Wow! Yeah. Because my so mother proud. told me she like she said I she said I could buy you whatever you want, but I advise you not to wear nine brand shoes to school because once you start wearing nine brand shoes, they're gonna expect you had every pair of new Jordans that come yeah. out. Yo, if you yeah, noticed it. 
The chicks that keep but, it basic got the best swag, yo. Yeah, yeah. You got. They were like, pretty enough to get away with it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. you got to be cute too. If you ain't cute, you can't yeah. get away with that. But well, I got away with that. Didn't make fun of her. They rallied around her. Eventually, Alicia told a friend about her situation, and that friend found a safe haven located in the midst of Baltimore's toughest neighborhoods, Sarah's Hope. A shelter known for helping single mothers. <laughs> Got to spend a lot of quality time together, get to learn each other better, emotionally, physically, and mentally. What's your favorite thing about your mom? She's always there for us. Family and fortitude. Things money just can't buy. <laughs> a resilience that resonated with Linda Wilson. You're, you're the one that rides up and down here all yeah. the time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Remember that neighbor we met back on Alicia's route? When I was 20, I was a little lost child like many of us are. Linda too was once homeless, but helped by a total stranger. Now she's paying it forward. Just to help you. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> I've been there. We can grab joy anywhere we can. When you go through a struggle together with your family, it makes you stronger. Happy birthday! Every dark place always has a light. <laughs> something that just brings light to you. Don't underestimate yourself. Proving that sometimes struggles can be serendipitous. Alicia used her time in the shelter to job hunt. Landing her position with the Postal Service in September. By There's the our answer. The year, she was ready to say goodbye to 2020. Yeah, I told you she hadn't been there that long. Yep. Her family a post Christmas present. Welcome to the Carter family's new home. I love them. Made possible with assistance from the shelter. So, what is next for this beautiful family? Happy times. <laughs> home cooked meals. More tacos. More tacos. <laughs> yeah, I want to come over. <laughs> The whole family yeah, now savoring the sweet over. sounds of that spiritual promise. That looks like a really nice neighborhood. Hi, everyone. Yeah, man. And on that note, man, we're going to get out of here, man. Peace <laughs> out, man. See you guys. Out, everybody. Out, everybody. All, right, I, All right. Peace. Hey. All right, then. I'll All right. Start <laughs>